that's even probably too fucking much. All right, y'all. So I have a few. Hi, everyone. Welcome to another video. I have a few products that I do want to talk about today. Um, I just put on my eye cream. Obviously, this is the Dr. Brandt eye cream wrinkles, dark circle puffiness remover. Oh, I'm going to go ahead with my God damn it. It's hot. I'm sorry, you guys. I'm going to turn the fan on. I hope it doesn't call a ruckus and be annoying. I'm going to use this. Um, so as you know, I got this I've had it for a couple years at this point I want to say even before we moved here mm. um, I did get this in an Ipsy package however these kind of tools are available everywhere Sephora, Amazon I'll link some um Ones that I approve of. So basically, this just gets all the knots out. Mm. It is rose gold, darling. And we're just clearing the limbs. Um, so hopefully, this one doesn't die on me. However, of course, I have a couple more. <laughs> one more. But when I want a little bit of a extra lift... I used to actually use it every day, so it is something you can use every day. Other one, I'm pretty sure I've showed this before. I got this one in another Ipsy box. I'm telling you, why spend money on skincare when you can get it all for literally nothing? Um, and this one hasn't been used yet. So this one is 24 karat gold lift bar. And so I don't know if I should use these both, if I should wait till that one dies and start using this. Um, but I highly suggest having something, a tool like this, as well as a cleansing tool. So I'll show you the cleansing tool. So I do, of course, I have the PMD um, cleansing tool that I got in another Ipsy. Um, but this one as well, I have, I have not used it, so um, this one, Glow from the Outside In, honey. Uh, facial cleanser and anti-aging device. So I assume this doesn't have the LED lights, but it does have the vibration. So the vibration, it probably is dead. I don't even know. Oh, she works. So pretty nifty. Um, I do like my PMD, but if it ever dies or whatever, um, either I'll start using this or I'll give this to my husband because he actually did ask me for one of those facial cleanser tools. He asked me for a PMD and I said, they're expensive. <laughs> so if you're watching this, Ipsy, I would be open to receiving another PMD. Guys. Don't know about this. This is a Korean, Jap Japanese, I'm sorry. Basically, it's an eye mask steamer. And um, I've had, excuse me, I got these from a friend years ago, a couple of them when I was visiting her. And then in Richmond, I was visiting her. And then I've I had them, used them. I've showed them on my channel before. And then I recently bought them when I was traveling to the wedding just in case. Honey, I didn't want to be puffy. I knew I was going to be drinking. So these are important. It's basically, I'm not going to do any kind of... Um, demonstration here sweetheart uh but you see what it is it's a mask that heats up and it does work even my old one that one i had one that like i ordered more because i only had one left and it was not expired i don't think they expire they don't expire anyways um it's it still worked when it was used after a few years. Anyway, so another uh, item. So what I'm going to do in this video is 
I have a couple new beauty products that I wanted to share with you. So I'm going to do a little face look at a hot mess. I know. Well, first of all, I've already started selling some stuff on Poshmark. I will put up this picture. Remember I got these in, uh, I don't know if this is illegal, but whatever girl they're mine i got these sunglasses these key quay i think the brand is called key from ipsy you think i'm ever gonna be caught dead in those no babes i gave them my husband they weren't gonna work for him either because i can't be seen with somebody that looks like that and so that that whole style isn't not a look it's not turning anything but my nose up okay um they're like the Khloe Kardashian glasses. Anyways, sold those bad boys for like 30 bucks. I got 24 bucks out of it. Whatever. That pays for my Ipsy for this month. <laughs> I should have been priming. This is the Patrick Ta lip mask in She's Juicy, I think. I need to do this. Before I waste any more time, it's already been eight minutes. But so happy new year, everyone. I guess this is technically my first video of the year. I posted um, my Christmas decor, like the day Christmas Eve or something like that. Um, it took me a oh, good minute. A couple months, like a month. I started filming that probably in late October, you guys, if I'm being completely honest. I started filming that, like, before my mother-in-law came, which was before Thanksgiving. Thank you for bearing with me, and thank you for watching that video. I'm selling these shirts on the Poshmark. I don't know if I've actually technically, t like, said that. Like, it's more of if a you know, you know, honey. She's selling high-quality shirts. This is a large, um... You can pre-order them on my Poshmark. That's another thing. Now, let's do a little glam so we feel better about ourselves because I'm looking hideous. I need to cut my hair. Um, of course, I have another Ipsy right here. <laughs> There's some stuff in here that I want to try or at least see if what it's like. This is the Extraordinary Brightening Under Eye Perfector. Now, do you put this on after skincare and before concealer? Apply a thin layer deep um so i want to try this i just got this recently can you see there you go um and again it's in shade deep <laughs> brighten and correct the appearance of dark circles do i have dark circles what would you say i have that like asian situation going on that apparently they're drawing a line here to have this darling this is what i call natural you think that's too dark i'm not putting my finger in there are you fucking nuts this concealer brush is a real techniques by Sam and Nick Chapman. Is this dual fiber contour brush? Oh, I always use this as a concealer brush. Was this a collab between Sam and Nick Chapman and Real Techniques? Is that what this brush is from? Because I've actually been wondering. I was looking for these the other day online to see if I needed to order any new. Oh, this might have to go on with your finger, you guys. What is this? What do we think? It's sticky. Is this only for the under eyes, cuz bitch? Under eye perfector. Honey, we're gonna put this. Sorry, I'm trying to look in the mirror at myself. You guys, does this bring too much texture to me? Okay. You see how my face has the product? It's not like it's on the brush. I don't... That's one reason why I love these brushes, is they don't eat. 
the product. What do you think? That was just, you know, one little layer of the siete. And it said to put only a thin layer, whatever. Okay. So that's under eye concealer. Okay, we're going to put that in my concealer bin. We're going to hit the... Oh, I guess... What other new concealers do I have? Honey, have I ever told you guys about this? I use this maybe once or twice. It's the Huda Beauty High Coverage Creamy Concealer in Peanut Butter, shade 24G. Over The Overachiever Concealer. This is Spackle. Legitimately, legit, it's like painting a wall or painting a building. Um, that's if you've been up for a week and a half, honey. Okay, so let's go in with the Dior concealer next. Because what does it say? It said, go in with your concealer first. Creating even base for concealer application, yeah. So next we're going to go in with this. Now, I just want to light them out. Okay, so that was the Dior 4.5 and 5. This is 5. And what I like to do... Shit, there's no way I'm wasting this fucking makeup. I'm going somewhere today, honey. Now, this is the only time I want. That's why, I, look, you want the brush to eat the product when it comes to this part. That way. Because I put, obviously, way too much, right? But it's all in here. And in order to blend that out, honey, we're going to take a limb. And even, it'll get even thinner. But not too thin, right? Under my eyes. which I'm gonna go in lightly with the ABH cream contour. I'm hoping to God. I just hope it doesn't. Oh God, no. See, it does this where it like, it splatters almost. I put too fucking much. It's okay. I'll just blend it out. As long as we got a little bit of that contour on, I'll fix this side. Oh my god, no. Fuck, it looks like I wiped shit on my face. I think a little bit. Just a little bit. Look, there, I spilt some on the outside. So we'll just go in with her. Just a little bit of a contour, you guys. Don't care. I will say, this shit stinks. 
into my eyebrow anyways. Okay, I'll blend that out. Old ass Dior concealer. What do you think? Did I fuck it up? This video's gonna be way too fucking long. All right, set the FaceTime. Cause what the fuck? I could use my NARS that you know I love and I use it all the time. Just for a little. more depth in that color. Mini Face Palette Miami by Ofra Cosmetics. Cute, why not? Go in here a little. Um, the bronzer's called Delay. Here, that's the one that I just went into. What do we think? That's a pretty color. There's a blush, a highlighter, another bronzer. So I went on the bottom set. Is Ofra Bougie, you guys? I have this one. It's called Punch. I think I've used this one before. And then this one is new by Tarte in Orchid. However, this one is cream, so I don't think I'm gonna use that. I have this blush, an old Chanel, honey, that I haven't used in years. Look at her, she looks awful. Let's go in with her and see what she looks like. Beautiful. It's probably a little bit light, but that's, that's Chanel, honey. You kind of see it. All right, so let's find something similar. No, I believe I have something similar in one of these goddamn fucking face palettes. No, but I like, that's a good color. Ooh, I forgot how good blush, how good of a blush Chanel has. What's this one? This is Luminous Blush Palette. It's kind of similar. Let's go in. I don't know what this brand is. Oh, Peaches. That's the one I went in with, Peaches. By Fenty Beauty, it's the Mo Honey. Um, I actually bought this one, Holla At Me, from Sephora. A long ass time ago. Oh, I used to love this color. See, this needs cleaned off. I think I'm gonna use this one today. Just because, why not? It's a really pretty. Um, let me see if I scratch off the top, if that will help. Get all that foundation. See, really pretty color. Okay, I think it was working. She's working. Oh, this is a MAC 137 highlighting brush. All right. And then just in case that wasn't enough. I don't know why they put these cases on these. FYI, that's what I was trying to say earlier. First highlighter I ever bought. Gold Deposit by MAC. 
siete, one just, because we can, bitch. Damn, did I ever? Did I move the makeup is the question. Did I pull off makeup is the question. <sighs> I did. You can see it. <sighs> this is what pisses me off. Hi, guys. Um, So I don't know where or what I'm going to cut out of that video. But basically, I pulled does that look like i have okay dior dior okay so now we're ready for brows so basically i had to first of all i need to do my brows and those i had to take all that off put on primer like um i put this primer on because when i was putting the bronzer on it literally just scraped it off i'm sure that's happened to many of you before um so now we're just gonna i literally showered took everything off and um restarted by the way Can anybody explain? This is the second one this has happened. Is it because I don't use it enough that my Smashbox eyeliner will not twist up? Is that because I don't use it enough? What is the reason? What was the reason? You hear that champagne bubbling, you guys? It's actually Prosecco. It's like Rafino. So we're going to go see the band play with our friend and we might run into one of our other friends. Um, and I told my friend, I'm like, listen, I don't want to start no drama with those fucking old ass straight men. Like, can I wear glamour not? And she's like, absolutely. I like to cause a ruckus. I'm like, me too, bitch. Me too. <laughs> a little disturbance. Okay. Those are some good brows, bitch. I um, thought about having a dirty martini. Mm, this one smells so good. Touch of this. Just enough. Right? So I did a touch of this on the bottom lip and a lot of this on the top lip. All right, how do we look? Um, next thing I need, we'll go ahead and do this. Oh, I should probably do a little bit of something on my lid. I did get a new, I'm wearing pink. So I did get this. I told you guys this was gonna be opening, using new makeup. So I believe this is pinky. 
It's the Ill Maquillage Quad, Color Boss Quad, and Game Changer. Hmm. I guess I can go in with the dark one. Oh my God. I hope this is the brush. Okay. That's pretty. Okay, we like that. And then you know what I'm gonna do? Like super simple, you guys. This is like easy. We're gonna go with the pink. And I get kind of a lot. I'll tap it off just in case. And I'm just gonna go like that. And go like that. And then I'll use the back side to pull it and pull it. And we don't want too much. So then I'll take a clean ish. This is pretty clean, I think. And I'll just work that into. Thank you, Il Maquillage. I just want you guys to see. All of these eyeshadows. I'm about full, basically, okay? First, we'll set with the Mario Badescu just to get everything to mix together. And then I'll set with the seal it. <sighs> the bitch died. Well, good thing she's dry. I have a little thing with USB connector connectors. Right there. But I have a lot that I want to sell on my Poshmark and I want your guys' opinion. Okay, Ipsy, I do want to point out something because I have this. This better not be the same fucking palette. Or this not better be a smaller version of it. Let's see here. Shopaholic and Entourage Newsflash Endgame. No, no, no. Endgame Newsflash. Endgame and Newsflash are in here and here. Entourage and Shopaholic. Or not? What the hell's? Which one's Entourage at the top? The top ones are. Good thing these things don't come with brushes, so they're not like getting everywhere. Okay, so these top two are different than what's on here, which makes sense. And this bottom one is also that one. Okay. Huh. Thanks to maquillage. I wonder how much. Like if I. I think I have another one, you guys. <laughs> but this one is, well, damn, what colors are in here? Hold up, wood, entourage, and clap back. Okay, so do these, okay, so what? These two have entourage, because entourage is obviously a transitional color, I understand. Oh, do I need? No, we're good. All right, anyways. Well, that's a bit ridiculous. I got a refill.